Good morning everyone. Sorry for the absolute terrible lighting. It's 7am so it's I just tried to turn the big light off but it was too dark so we're gonna have to deal with the warm weird windows blue bedrooms orange situation. Oh I really love this Vive Skin Nova but I find the pump so annoying. I can't get the product out. Like what am I doing wrong? Is there a trick here? I'm up early because oh, there you go. I'm going on a shoot today and I haven't done anything like this in ages. I'm shooting with a brand, but like they're filming and editing, which always makes me a, a little bit nervous, but it's for Space NK's new YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be doing a kind of sofa chat with a few other people. Um, one of the girls who works on the PR team, one of the Space NK buyers, and then the girl who's kind of hosting the chat. And we're gonna be chatting through the new kind of Christmas gifting items. So a bit of a different kind of morning. It's always nice to get out and see people and do something different. Although it's also weird when I'm not kind of in creative control because I'm so used to doing that. I often find that like a bit frustrating because I want to say like do it like this or change it like that. But it's also nice to just turn up and be the guest. Um, Because I'm on camera and I'm so spotty. This last period, I always get, these are like totally hormonal period related spots. I'm gonna use something a little bit more heavy duty. This is the Hourglass Banish Stick Foundation. Um, because I'm on camera, I'm going to use something a little bit more intense. It's so creamy though, even though it's in a stick, don't be put off because it blends beautifully. And whenever I wear this foundation, I always get compliments on it. Like every time someone says, oh, what base are you wearing? It's always this one. So I'm just gonna blend that in. What shade is this? Ivory. I wasn't sure what to wear. Whenever you're on camera, they always say don't wear like stripes or kind of a bold pattern. Cause sometimes it can kind of pick up weird on camera. So I thought I would just go for red. Seeing as it's Christmas content and I feel good in red and I'm just wearing my gray FNF trousers and I'll take some sh flat shoes with me because I'm getting the tube there I'll wear trainers but I'll take some shoes to change into yeah so it should be really nice thought I'd just quickly get ready with you guys not that I can really see what I'm doing timing wise it's such a shame for my hair because I've got um an appointment tomorrow to get my greys coloured and they couldn't do any earlier so I have got greys and my hair's a little bit greasy so that's a shame. Definitely getting uh, deeper lines in my forehead these days like I'm definitely noticing them more. I'm just trying to change my mindset so that when I when I see lines instead of allowing my brain to think immediately like negative about them I'm just trying not to to try and not see that as a negative but just like a privilege or something I don't know or even just to have neutral thoughts on it it's just something I'm aware of and trying to trick my brain you know I'm gonna use the Vive concealer on the spots and then just use my usual Bobbi Brown concealer under my eye one of the Christmas gift sets is a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk talk collection so I think I'll wear my pillow talk lipstick because that would be nice to kind of give a little mention when we're filming. Right this light is terrible so I'm going to finish filming and pick up again when it's a bit brighter. How cute is my new phone case? It's so much um, thinner than the last one I had. It's red and glossy. I actually I really like the mirrored one I have because it's very handy but I also like this because the, this one comes with clips on it it's from a brand called Atelier. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'll link it down below. They sent this to me and it got it has clips on it. So you can either attach this little beaded thing, which is just quite cute and handy if you're at home. But if I'm going out, I can literally just unclip this and then clip on this long, am I gonna do it now? I'm not sure, this long strap, which means I can wear it crossbody, I can wear it around my neck. Everything's very red today. Um, so that's really handy. This is like an out and about. This is when I'm at home. Yeah, I'm gonna swap them actually for today. So literally just unclips. And then this clips on there. There you go, you can either go around my neck or you can just go across and when I'm out and about in London. And I don't wanna keep getting my phone in and out of my bag and I want it to be safe, that is very handy. I mean, I am a bit too red today, but that's fine. I think I should have some kind of breakfast if I'm gonna be on camera. 
are you guys Marmite lovers or Marmite haters? Um, I don't eat it like all the time, but when I do, sorry, this is a really, this butter is just not spreadable, so I'm just like letting it melt a bit. <laughs> when I do, I love it. It's just the weirdest stuff though, isn't it? It's literally like tar. Um, it really reminds me of my friend SJ growing up. You know how like some people are really into Marmite? Um, it's just the weirdest texture. But I do quite like it. It's just like a strong, savoury flavour. So like how much do you put on? Is this acceptable? I think I need a little bit more. But you don't want to do too much because then it's just too overpowering. And you've got to have it with butter. Like I'm not even a big butter fan. I don't have butter most of the time when I've got like another spread. But with Marmite, you have to. Hmm, what even is it? Such a weird taste. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing as I head out. Uh, the long gray FNF coat, the red and of the stories top. This belt is, I'm not sure where it's from actually. Um, gray FNF trousers and black Adidas Sambas. I'm gonna change into my m and shoes when I'm there. Okay, let's go. Okay, I got myself a little Joe and the Juice coffee and I'm pretty sure this is where we're going for the shoot, the record hall. So I'm just gonna head in and see if I can find Liv. Right, I'm in the studio space and it's very cool. So I thought I'd show you around. There's a little green room, I'll show you in a minute. And then you come around here and it's like a full on set. Look at this. This is the same production I have at home, guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. So cool. This is all the Christmas gifting you can look forward to. Some of my top picks, the Laneige uh, kind of lip balms. They're really cute. <laughs> Summer Fridays, there's like the Pillow Talk stuff. Oh, love all the Pillow Talk stuff. Obviously, Rare Beauty. I reckon this would be very popular. And the bags are so handy as well. And there's a little green room in here for us all to get ready. Charlotte Tilbury does such good gifting. Um, it's a really nice way to like try the brand if you haven't tried anything before. And this is the Pillow Talk Iconic Mini Lip Kit. I'm wearing Pillow Talk today, the lip liner and the lipstick, because it's one of my absolute favorites. You do? Okay. So oh, you do? Yeah. Are you wearing the gloss? Yeah, I've got the gloss on top. so different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's does. what's the best thing about Pillow Talk. It works for everyone. Yeah. You can basically wear it individually with or without liner. And who I am and then... Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Hi, I'm Lily Pebbles, and I'm gonna to talk to you today quickly about the Charlotte Tilbury gifting they have this Christmas at Space AK. There are so many amazing bits, obviously starting with this, which is the chest of love. It's beautiful. That was so fun. I love that they've got this little studio set up. Oh my God, I would have loved to have something like that back in the day when I used to do like sit down videos. It's so nice, all the lighting set up, everything, camera guys there. It was really lovely just to sit and chat through the products. There's some really amazing gifting this year, so when that video goes live, I'll link to it on stories or something. I'm gonna pick up a spicy tuna sandwich from Joe and the Juice and head home. Got some calls this afternoon. So I was just about to start vlogging and I realized breakfast is literally still on the table. I'm doing one of those vlogs this week where I'm only showing you the good bits and like the fun bits, but please know that in between all of these clips, I am doing very boring, mundane stuff. I'm doing the school run, I'm doing emails, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> it all looks a little bit glamorous. Today I'm going to get my hair done at Hershison's. Nothing exciting, I'm just gonna get my greys covered. Well actually you can kind of see now in this light quite well, as well as getting a few greys covered in the past like sometimes when I go some people just cover the individual greys and like one guy did like a full tint and can you see what happens is my hair starts to get quite warm this brown is quite like a warm brown but my natural color is quite a cool darker brown so I get this kind of like dark brown lighter brown I just don't I don't really know what to do about it and it's probably the products I'm using like every time I use a clarifying shampoo it strips the color makes it go a bit warm. I'm gonna speak to Claire who does my color and see what we should do. I'm gonna get my hair colored and blow dried um, and I'm gonna take my laptop with me because I didn't get any emails done yesterday and things are starting to pile up and I've got a shoot day tomorrow. I'm wearing my new baby. This is my third child. <laughs> I actually can't believe I have this jacket. I've wanted this leather jacket from Whistles for 
like I swear three or four years. I was so almost about to buy it. I was speaking to the Whistles PR and um, I was gonna use like a press discount because this is an expensive item. Whistles also do their 20% off everything code like once a year, I think, which is an amazing time to buy kind of the more expensive leather pieces. But anyway, I was about to buy it and although they, they usually don't gift like leather or shearling pieces, she for some reason offered to gift me this and I just feel incredibly lucky and quite nervous to put like gifted on it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie because I know some people are gonna get outraged by that. The reason that I didn't buy this for so long is because it's got silver hardware and I thought I was just like more of a gold hardware person but I mean in my colour analysis she did say silver is my metal anyway so and also I like mixing metals now. I'm just less fussed about that. I also wasn't sure because I had been trying on a, a small or a 12. I mean, sorry, I've been trying on like a medium or a 12 every time I tried it and it felt a little bit too big, but actually I tried on the smaller size, I sized down and it fits perfectly. And I like that it's straight. It's not like a bomber style. Um, it's, it's a very soft leather. I'm nervous to wear it. I'm nervous about the scratches. I'm nervous about it getting worn in because I am not precious with items, but equally I know I just need to like start that because more kind of, the more worn in it looks, the better it will look eventually. It's just those first few scuffs that are gonna be like, ooh. But it's so, so nice. And I'm just working out like how to wear it because I don't wear like black jackets often, but, I'm wearing it today with um, my navy blue sweater vest, which actually might also be whistles. Oh, I've got hair all over me. Little white t-shirt, jeans, and then I put on my Converse, my black Converse, because then it's like black, black, kind of evens it out a little bit. And I've just got a big tote bag because I'm taking my laptop into town. Come with me to get my hair done. I think I might need to grab some food on the way because I'm getting there for 11. I'll probably be there for a couple of hours. Let's see what time I arrive, but I also kind of want to pop into Abercrombie. Everyone's always saying how good their jeans are. And I just like feel so weird shopping in Abercrombie because I was quite an Abercrombie loving teenager. And then I just like totally got the ick as I got into my twenties and was like, what have I been doing? And then it had like a total rebrand and I just, I can't get my head out of what Abercrombie used to be like, but I know it actually is really inclusive and everyone loves their jeans and they do amazing kind of plus size jeans and I, I would say I'm a mid-size, I'm a 12. I think I should try some on and see what the fuss is about. Okay, I'm taking my um, blank street tote and I would actually really like to get a proper tote bag. I have mentioned this now a few times, so I'm on the lookout um, for like a proper tote bag, you know. Grab my keys. Gray made herself a laptop this morning. How cute is this? Um, let's have a little look. How does it work? Oh, here you go. Opens up. I mean, it doesn't really look like a laptop, but she said it's a laptop. It's cute anyway. There's actually an Abercrombie on Carnaby Street, so I'm just gonna quickly pop in for like 15 minutes. They barely have any sizes. I just feel like shops post COVID still just have like barely any stock. It's all online. So I'm just trying on what I can. Um, trying on the 90s relaxed jean high rise um, in a 28, which I'm not sure will fit because that's technically a 10. They do fit. I just can't seem to form an opinion on whether I like them or not. I don't think they're anything special. I'm gonna get a Leon wrap to take with me to the hairdressers. <gasps> oh no, they're not doing their wraps yet. I'm gonna see if it's used open on the way. They do have a kind of cafe in the hairdressers, but it's more of like an avocado on toast situation, which I'm not really feeling today. I'm not saying I can just eat quite easily while some tapping away at my emails. Damn, it's not open. <laughs> I'm gonna get seriously hangry in this um, hair appointment. Pret would literally be my last choice to go to for, lo for lunch ever, which is not really like a basic sandwich kind of person. If I'm gonna have a sandwich, it has to be something really special. But saying that, I did see this, which I haven't seen before, which is, oh, it doesn't say the name. I think it's like a chicken shawarma type flatbread. That sounds up my street, like full of strong flavors. So just grab that. Really miss getting my like proper hair color done. Like when I used to go and get balayage, it's just the like, most like satisfying type of hair appointment when you go in and come out and like totally different hair and color and so fresh. I just can't do that anymore. One, I don't think the blonde actually suits me, but also um, my hair just can't cope with color and heat. 
So this is not so much of a satisfying appointment, but you know what I love about getting my hair coloured is that you don't start with the hair wash. I don't know why I like that so much, but you can just sit down, settle it in, get your colour all done, and then you kind of get like rewarded with a really nice hair wash, and you leave with like freshly washed and blow dried hair. I just, I like that you don't start with the hair wash for some reason. Okay, grey hair's gone, fully brunette again. <laughs> Didn't bring a lipstick out with me today, so feeling a bit pale. Um, but I'm now going to try and find a little quiet spot because I need to make a phone call. <laughs> Sorry, everyone was listening to me vlog. I need to make a phone call that's quite personal to a lady who does C-section scar massaging. I'm not sure if I need it and the things, the symptoms I'm having are because of my C-section scars or not. So I'm going to phone her and chat to her about my kind of concerns and see if maybe that's something she can help with. Wish I'd done it earlier. Wish I'd done it after my c-sections but didn't know it was a thing um so i'm gonna find somewhere quiet to have that call maybe i'll go into liberty <laughs> i'm home many hours later being just like running errands and stuff and getting the kids dinner sorted i spoke to the c-section lady it's super interesting actually um i didn't realize that scar tissue can grow become worse over years and it's something that you can address and deal with, even if it's like 20 years old. I mean, mine's only three and five years old. But I was like, oh, I should have done this sooner. Obviously, I think it is better too, but um, it can definitely be dealt with now. And it can cause all kinds of problems, including back pain. And obviously, like, C-section overhang. And I'm just going to give it a go. I'm doing two sessions of, like, scar tissue massage so you can, like, assess it, see if there's any scar tissue stuck anywhere, which I know there is, because I can see, I can see like dimpling where you can see the the tissue's got stuck somewhere, like to one of my organs or something, which is gross. So yeah, anyway, yeah, one of the many things we need to think about and do as women. Right, actually I've got some frozen food that I really need to pop in the freezer. I just picked up these itsy dumplings, I don't know why. I was looking for the soup dumplings that have gone like viral on TikTok. Everyone's talking about these soup dumplings and it just made me have a craving. But anyway, I couldn't find them so I just got these instead, which are not the same thing. Got myself some Kelly Loves miso soup because they're the best. Oh God, I've definitely got to put some stuff some, I need to make the kids dinner. I've got some true fruit that goes in the freezer. Potato waffles, these need to all go in the freezer. I think I'm gonna try and make the kids their dinner today, but also make tomorrow's dinner, which will be like a shepherd's pie or something because tomorrow's a shoot day and I know I won't have time then. From the hairdresser, I got myself, I spent literally 100 pounds on products, but I just, I really wanna make sure I'm looking after my color so it's not getting too warm. Sorry for the sun here, but I got some um, Kerastase products. I got the Chroma, it's the hair, uh, the color protect shampoo and conditioner. And then I also got myself a heat protector because I do think Kerastase like, is really really good for that let's see what these dumplings are like they're not the viral ones but i've got a craving uh, remove the sleeve and peel back the film halfway add one tablespoon of cold water and replace the film obviously didn't measure because i'm incapable of following instructions microwave for one minute and then leave to stand oh i've got an so many deliveries oh this is great. This is for Rudy's birthday party, which is in November. Just a little party for some of his uh, friends. He hasn't got many, but he's got some cousins and some nursery friends. For his like going home present, instead of a party bag full of plastic crap, um, I'm just gonna wrap a book for each kid. I know it's not the same as buying from like a local bookshop, but it's a party and you've got to keep costs down for like party bag stuff. Um, the Works sell 10 books for 10 pounds. Uh, which is great. So I got the Harry McClary set. They're not all um, Harry McClary. It's the same collection of books, but there's like a few different variations. So I will wrap those and they will be the going home present. Mm. They're okay, nothing special. Oh, I forgot to show you when I was in town, I popped into M&S and went up to the kids section because I always forget how good kids M&S is. Um, actually, I didn't get anything like good in terms of what I would like, but I needed to get Grey some tights. So I got her some tights and then she's always saying that she doesn't have any like girly, special, sparkly clothes. Um, you know, she's reaching that age. So I got her a couple of skirts, which are pretty awful, but she will love them. 
actually I do think it's quite cute if you put on like boots and a big chunky jumper or something but she loves these so got her some cute sparkly skirts she'll be very excited about that good morning it is a shoot day and we haven't got a long list of things to get through today because there is one thing I really want to do and I have no idea how long it's going to take us I'm working um not in this video but I'm working with L'Occitane um, on their almond shower oil which is a product I have loved forever and actually when I was talking to the girl from L'Occitane that's how this kind of job came about she was like you have literally loved this product forever and it would be so nice if we did a piece that kind of showed that and incorporated some older clips of you talking about the product. I found one really good clip from like nine ten years ago in a YouTube video where I'm like showing the product and talking through it and funnily enough, kind of hitting all the key points and key messages about the product, even though that wasn't actually a job then. So I thought it could be cool. I was thinking about how I could incorporate that into an Instagram reel, because obviously YouTube is landscape, Instagram's a bit snappier. And I was like, if I'm talking about the product and then I kind of cut to that old clip, it's gonna change the tempo and the speed and it might be a bit weird. And I've just been thinking about it, it's quite tricky. But I think what I want to do is try and have that old clip landscape at the top and then record a new clip of me saying exactly the same thing, sitting in a very similar kind of setup and have that on the bottom half of the screen and have those screen and have those running at the same time and the audio, this is the bit I'm not sure if it will work because it might just sound a bit weird, but the audio kind of flicks between the two. I think if we do that like as the, like not mid sentence, mm. do you know what I mean? Then yeah. I think it would be better. The, there's, a, there's a lot of challenges here. <laughs> getting the similar setup lighting I have to like learn that whole bit um I've actually just downloaded a teleprompter app which is hilarious did not those those existed I think a lot of people use those when they're like recording stories which is very funny um, I've never used one before but I think for this I will need to because it's like a whole paragraph like I'd have to memorize the whole thing so I'll have my phone there and I can kind of say the same thing and I have to get the speed exactly right <sighs> I just have no idea. Luckily the brand is amazing and so flexible and I think that if this idea, because I've only got today to shoot this, I think if the idea doesn't work, we're gonna have to kind of edit as we go, then I think as long as I incorporate that old clip somehow, she'd be happy if I had to try something else and make something new. So that's really nice when the brand is flexible. But I think it would be really good and effective and have something written on the screen that's like, when you've loved a product for so long, you could use a clip from 10 years ago to promote it or whatever. So that's that. And I've just like, I didn't want to pack the day full because I really just want to nail that. And then Georgia had another idea, which I don't think, I don't think we'll be able to do today because it's not fully formed. And I think it requires a lot of effort. But I was thinking, I was thinking about how to talk about perfumes in a non-boring way. There is nothing more boring than someone being like, I love this perfume, it smells really like, like, sexy. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so dull, right? I was like, how can I talk about perfumes? And then, randomly last night, I just thought, do you remember those videos? I can't find any now. Do you remember those videos of people where they were like, slow-mo running through the door in like, different outfits? I thought it could be cool to do a video that's like, how these perfumes make me feel. And then like, visually showing how the perfume makes you feel, rather describing it being like, so like this one, for me, this is like dressed up yeah. leather trousers evening in a bar. This one's like London cool outfit crossing a zebra crossing. I don't think that'll happen today. I don't know what will <laughs> happen today. Well, see, let's, let's see how the day yeah. goes. Maybe to make it easier for us, we don't do all three in one go. We just like go and do one of them today. <laughs> You're trying to line these up. I mean, that is a bad screenshot, but wow. 10 years. Um, oh, my makeup was just so good my hair. We've also decided that the timing of me speaking is so important that I'm gonna have to have an AirPod in one of my ears listening to the old me and trying to talk at the same time and I'm gonna have to learn the words because it's too obvious if I'm looking at the teleprompter. So um a lot going on. <laughs> so in this video I'm gonna be talking through a few products that just make okay Sorry. Right, that will just make that will just make your your routine that little bit quicker. <laughs> ah! Ten years ago, me is in my ear. <laughs> okay, we've got this. This is gonna work. This is gonna, this work. Is gonna work. We've got old school <laughs> big camera, <laughs> just so we can replicate. You know, uh, got the audio here. Got a little mic here. Oh, professional oh, camera. Oh, candle tripod. on candle <laughs> on light. <laughs> Three, two. So in this video, sorry, 
she, I keep saying she, it's me, comes in so like, so in this video, like, it's really sudden. Yeah. And there's a bit of a pause. It was good, but it was not perfect. Uh, we've decided the red background is too high contrast compared to the old clip. And I was talking a bit weirdly. I was talking a bit like slow and serious. So I think we just need to do more practice. We're gonna change the setup. We've got the ring light out of the loft. I can't believe I still have this. I never use it. Ring light. And then I also actually found the mic Microphone, which I probably used when I was filming that video that sits on top of the big camera. This is a very old school setup right now, but we're trying to replicate it as much as we can. We're going to try it here. I just need to move all the plastic shit out of the way. This is great because it's really so, this is great because it's so multi-use, okay. Guys, it's looking so good whilst Georgia just plays around with the levels because we need to get like the audio to match up. But it really worked. I'm so glad the idea worked because if it hadn't worked, we would have had to come up with a whole new, yeah. oh, so good. I just think it's such an impact. How cool that I'm working on jobs where I can use clips from 10 years ago. Like, what? Love that. Um, I just wanted to quickly open this because it arrived from Dunelm, my favourite place. And I really hope this fits. I, I wanted to get something to put our fire logs in. Is that what they're called? I, do you know what? One of my goals for this year is to learn how to light fire. Because we have a fire and I don't know how to light it, which means I completely rely on Rich, who I think is very good at it. Um, so I got this set. <laughs> so it's a mini one for the the kindling yeah <laughs> for the kindling 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 weird word small one and then a big one for we use coffee logs so they don't look as good because they just literally look like poos but they're better for the environment um look how fun they think they're quite nice yeah i hope they fit okay let's see if this fits because at the moment I've got this H&M home thing, which is like has holes in it and everything goes everywhere. Yes, this one over here. So good. It's also got a little lining on the bottom. Perfect. Rich, what are these logs called? Just coffee logs. Made out of old coffee beans. Yeah. Pretty cool. Do they Did, smell but, do, yeah, No, they don't smell like coffee. Does it actually burn as well? I don't think so. Yeah. I think they go out quite quickly, but we're trying to be good, you know? Um, oh, wow, I'm making a real mess. Are there any more of these, Rich? Okay. Oh, it's very satisfying that we're at the stage where I don't have to worry about the kids touching this because I'll just say, don't touch that, and then they actually listen. Like, wild. How did we get here? Guys, we've done it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking Can't to tell you how That's tricky that was. Video. Nailed it. That took us about three and a bit hours. I have to read it though. Yeah. Worked out well. Okay, let's reward ourselves with a nice lunch that isn't me making something shit here because I need to go up the road to get something anyway. I'm gonna have a salt beef sandwich. There's also a Joe and the Juice. There's a Planet Organic. Um, there's also like Sainsbury's. I'm heading out to a Mama's Gun gig in Camden, Coco. I haven't been there for years and going to a place to eat first called Cafe Coco with my mum, my sister, my nephew and Jake is joining, which would be really nice because he's in London for a little bit. So heading out now, got on a nice uh, bright lip to make me feel a little bit rejuvenated because I'm so tired. We didn't sleep at all last night. Um, Rudy just like kept coming into our room and he's got a bit of a cough and you know, it was just one of those nights. So I'm really flagging. I'm having some good food and Good music will wake me up and a good catch up with a friend so just gonna go and pick up my mum now and then drive to Camden. Jojo's nails, my nails. Mum, show me your nails. Matching. Bailey's back in the vlogs now that he's old enough not to be kidnapped. <laughs> back in the vlogs. How many years has he old you Oh my god. He's 15 and he's taller than me and his voice is very low. Yes. I'm not gonna stand. Mum's like, stand up! I'm such a mum. Stand up and show them how to do it. You were in my videos. I've got a video of you on my YouTube channel having your face painted. I ordered myself a zero um, espresso martini. It's got that Bailey though. No, 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 Bailey! That's so annoying! <laughs> oh my god. Maybe 15, but still annoying. Wait, it's using Clean Co, which I think is Spencer Matthews' brand. Like uh -huh. Let me test. Is it tasty? 
Might as well just have a coffee. I know, I'm so tired, honestly. <laughs> I'm really tired. Oh yeah, it's nice, good. No, it's nicer than a coffee. It's like a sweet coffee. Look who's here. Hi, everybody. What did you get? Uh, a spicy margarita. A spicy margarita. Did you try this? No. How did you get it? On the tube? Oh, you can get that as I can. I can also get the tube. Oh, yeah. That's alright. Sorry, we don't live very far. We didn't communicate well. We went for the double pepperoni pizza. I like it here. Cafe Coco. And they do bottomless brunch on a Saturday. I think we should do that for someone's birthday. But I don't know who. Oh, Mum, it's your birthday brunch. soon. I don't think you should want bottomless brunch. Right, let's go. Bailey, Bailey door. Would. It's his birthday. Bailey can't have bottomless brunch. Why not? It doesn't mean you have to get drunk. Well, what's the point of going to bottomless brunch if you don't drink? That's literally what it. No, no it's, it's bottomless food. alcohol, not food. Oh, food. oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go next door and watch Mama's Garden. This is their biggest ever London gig. Whoop whoop! Guys, look at this new T-shirt. I want one of those in my life. I love the pink. Very cool. Guys, look at this. Woo! Amazing. Look at this venue. Absolutely incredible. Friday today. Rich has gone up to Suffolk to see his family today and I've, oh that's really hot, I've had Rudy. We went to a class this morning and I'm now just giving the house a bit of a blitz and a clean um, while he watches The Lion King. Um, last night was so fun, so happy with my mama's gun t-shirt. I actually love it. And um, we're all going to my parents uh, after school for dinner. My mum's made like two roast chickens or two or three roast chickens or something. I've made rice. I literally soaked it. This has been a long rice recipe. I started soaking the rice from yesterday and like rinsed it loads and then added these little like noodles in and made it kind of like a crispy rice. It's all wrapped up in cling film but you can kind of see it looks and smells delicious. Also I used chicken stock to cook it which is great. I kind of want to wrap up the vlog soon. I'll film a bit at my mum's and show you the food but I kind of want to wrap up soon because I think I'm going to film tomorrow afternoon and make that like a separate vlog. I just have no idea at this point how long this vlog is because whenever I'm filming like throughout the week and I'm not editing as I go it's very hard for me to know if this is a short vlog, a long vlog, I just don't know. Oof! Sunny. I just got a Cezanne order arrive. How nice is this grey cardigan? I absolutely love that. I'm gonna get so much wear out of that. Hilarious that I thought I'd be capable of vlogging at a family dinner. It was just chaos and definitely not vlogging um, material. We were just like, it was very loud, lots of food and yeah, I didn't vlog it. This is a bit of an abrupt end to um, an all over the place vlog but hope you liked it anyway and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!